Hello guys and welcome to this video where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade cryptocurrencies on the DYDX exchange. It's actually a decentralized exchange so you can buy and trade crypto right here directly from your wallet without any verification and very low fees. If you want to create an account you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here. You will get a 5% discount on all trading fees forever simply go to down to the link and then you will be here and then you can start directly from here so first of all we have to connect it to our wallet as you can see so you have different options right here um, in my case i'm just gonna show you how it's gonna work simply with the metamask so if we're gonna click on that it's simply a google chrome extension which you can simply use in my case i've already installed it if you want if you need more help on that you can check out other tutorials Simply I have to click up here to my MetaMask wallet and then I can see all of my balances right here. You can store different cryptocurrencies on here. As you can see, I have some Ethereum right here and this um, amount, I now want to Im import some of them. As you can see, you can also import other tokens like US dollar Tether, USDC, any other ERC20 token, Chainlink, for example, is absolutely no problem. But in my case, I'm just going to show you with my Ethereum balance right here that I have. Um, and then I can now have to confirm basically that I own this wallet from the MetaMask. And to do that, I simply have to click down here on send request. Then I get this message up here and I can click on sign down here. And then I have to sign another thing that I'm also able to trade. And once you've done that, you now have your MetaMask wallet connected to the exchange. So if I go up here, you can see this is the same address that I have on my MetaMask wallet. All right, so now I still don't have any balance right here on my account. And to get that, I have to make one transaction to the layer two of DYDX on the platform so I can use it to trade up here. But this is basically the only transaction uh, cost that I have to pay to get my money onto the platform and then I can use it there however I want and only if I want to withdraw it again then I may need to make another transaction. So I'm just going to click down here on deposit as you can see and up here I can choose the asset I want to deposit in my case it's going to be ether and then I can type in the amount I want to deposit as you can see my maximum balance is 0 0.017 I'm just going to zero yeah 0 0.01 ethereum click down here and then I can see the transaction that I need and also have to pay a little bit of a transaction fee can just click on confirm and then I have to wait for like 60 confirmations on the blockchain until I can see my balance up here if I click up here go to my transaction I can actually go down here and show the transaction in the block explorer so I can actually see it here it was two minutes ago it has 14 block confirmations so I need a few more I need like 60 confirmations until I can see it on DYDX. So this takes like a few minutes and then I will see it. As you can see now, I just refreshed a few minutes later and I can see it now on my DYDX account. The balance is credited and I can also see down here my buying power because I can use leverage on the platform. I can also use more money that I even have deposited. So that's actually pretty nice too. So now I want to show you how you can actually trade cryptocurrencies, different cryptocurrencies that you could use right here. I just go up here and click on trade. And then I can directly see the trading interface. So we are just going to go through all these elements so you can understand anything. Up here, I can choose the different markets, so different cryptocurrencies that I could trade on the platform. You can choose whichever one you would like. You can just trade them long and short. Um, I'm just going to show you with EOS, with the cryptocurrency EOS in this case. As you can see up here, I'm just going to click on it and then I get to this page right here. Up here we can also see the current price which is one dollar and 29 cents and also see some other information up here on the left side i can see my balance and how much i could use so in my case the 16 dollars and i can use up to 10x leverage on this trading pair to to have access to 160 dollars in this case with a 10x leverage here i can see the order book right to it on the right to it and um, i can see all the selling orders up here and the buying orders down here here i can see the price chart so it's pretty simple. It's just a cutout from trading view. If you're used to that, um, you can obviously zoom in, zoom out. You can change. Uh, you can actually just turn off the volume right here. I can choose, for example, the four hour day chart, daily chart, whichever one I would like. No problem at all right here. I can also click on this little arrow and I have different other options that I can use to, for example, draw any lines into the chart. So you can also use that.
All right, so down here I can see my um, positions that I have opened. I can check out my orders, my filled orders, and um, yeah, everything that has, done, has to do with the trades. Okay, here on the left side, I can actually execute my trades. So this is the important section where I can use, for example, limit, a market order. Um, in my case, I'm just gonna show you how it's gonna work with a simple market order. These other options that you have right here are not that important for now. I'm gonna, we can check that out later. But uh, in this case, let's start off with a simple market order. So what we're gonna do is click on market here and then we can choose if we want to have a buy or sell. So in this case, long or short. In my case, I'm gonna go for a buy order and now I can set the position size. I'm gonna use actually 10 EOS. As you can see, the leverage down here automatically goes to 0.82 because I'm not using my entire money. As you can see, I have $16 available of my own equity and these 10 EOS would only cost like $13 as you can see down here. So I'm not using my entire equity. This is why the leverage is down uh, lower than 1x. So I, obviously I can um, choose my leverage if, if however I want it. So if I go for 20, for example, I will have $26 of value in this position, which is more than my equity. And of course, therefore the leverage goes to 1.6x. Um, so yeah, we can also obviously like choose the leverage automatically and then as you can see the amount automatically adjusts. So if you want to just use a leverage, you can also use the slider and slide it up to a 10x leverage and then we're buying actually 122 EOS, which means $164. So this is how this uh, leverage uh, thing works. Um, in my case, I'm just gonna go for a very low position just to, for demonstration. So let's go for 10 EOS right here. Just gonna type that in here just to show it. And then I can click down here on place market order. And as you can see, now it's done. And uh, we can see it right here on the right side <clears throat> that it has been executed immediately. So now we have to wait until the price is changing. So we can see if we're going into the profit or into a loss. As you can see, we have bought these 10 uh, EOS right here uh, without any fee in this case. And here we can see it's a long trade with a 0 0.82 leverage and we are currently 10% in the minus. So 0.8% down because the price, as you can see, has dropped a little bit since we've opened the position. So now we can just leave this position opened and see how it's going to go. Um, and we can actually go back here to our portfolio and also see our position right here. So all of our open positions will be displayed here. We can see our current portfolio value and we can see we have this long trade op opened. And if we click on it here, you can see everything back again. Okay, so if you want to close the position, you can just click down here on close position. Here on the left, you can choose how much. So the amount, you could type in 10 EOS, all of our position, which is at max, of course, but you can also close only 50%, so half of your position. In my case, I'm just gonna close the entire position. I click on close, and now, as you can see, the order is filled immediately, and we have sold it again and are now back um, at normal without any position opened. So now I wanna show you also how you can make a short, so like a sell order just gonna go here. Um, in this case, I wanna show you also how a limit order works. So in this case, I have to type in again, how much? Let's go for 10 EOS again, and now I have to set a limit price. So, um, you know, you could say, I don't want to have the order executed immediately, but I want to sell it maybe like at uh, 1.36 or something. That means I can type in right here at the limit price 1.36. Um, US dollar. So that's the price where I want the position to be executed um, at. The, so this is my best price that I want to take. So only if that price is reached, as you can see, it's now a little bit higher. So I want to sell for a higher price. And only if that price will be hit, then my order will be executed. So it's gonna yeah, now we can wait until the order will be executed. As you can see, it's still opened. It's not filled. Um, and it will be opened in the basic um, information is as you can see right here it's at that price and it will be opened like for four weeks this is like the standard uh, duration um, so if it if it doesn't reach at that price it's going to be closed automatically so but now we can actually wait maybe the price will be hit um, would be nice to show you but in this case, maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer. So actually I'm gonna cancel that order because I don't want to wait for too long. As you can see, you know, I canceled it. It hasn't been executed. I go back to my position 
And I want to show you, of course, if I set a lower price, then it will be executed immediately. So let's go for 10 euros again. And let's type in a price that's a little bit below it. So it will be executed automatically, just like a market order. Let's go for 1.348, which is a little bit lower than the current price. I click on start, the position is opened and we can see it has been executed immediately by the green dot on the left. And if we go on fills, you can see this order is executed immediately. And also we didn't pay a fee at all. Obviously, if you use my link, you will have a fee discount. So that's pretty nice. If we go back here, um, we can also see our position. It's a short trade in this case, 10 EOS again, same leverage as the last time and our unrealized profit in this case, because the price has dropped off a little bit. Now we are obviously profiting from a lower price, three cents in the profit. I can close the position again, just click on close position right here. And as you can see, we have closed the position and that's as simple as that, how you can trade here any cryptocurrency, go long, go short, very simple on this decentralized cryptocurrency exchange without any verification. And if we wanna actually um, withdraw any money, you can just simply go back here uh, we can see we have no position opened, so we can actually withdraw something. Let's go down here on withdraw. Um, and now we can choose the currency that we want to withdraw. In my case, just USDC coin. And now type in the amount you want to uh, withdraw to your MetaMask. Simply you can go for all. Obviously, you have to pay some fees, as you can see here, some Ethereum network fees. So $2.10 uh, in this case, I can confirm it. And then actually I will, I will get the money back to my MetaMask my simple MetaMask wallet. And once you have it there, you can obviously leave it there, send it to another exchange. You can change it back to dollars, to Euro, any currency, and then you can have it. All right, if you want to create an account, simply go down to the video description. You get the 5% discount on all trading fees. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.